So this is the, the Toro STX38 model 23214. I think it's like a 35 horsepower engine tracks instead of wheels the rhino wheel that's a different kind of grinding wheel these are like more aggressive teeth they they're bigger they take out bigger chunks of wood super cool it does a good job grinding medium to large stumps you know anything from small to a large stump we have an extra large grinder but this is the this is perfect size for this this can get into backyards um, i don't remember exactly how wide it is but um it fits through most standard gates so we've arrived at our job for the day, it's Friday, it's nice outside. Um, inconveniently, we have some cars parked uh, where our no parking signs are, um, but we're working our way around that. We're gonna, we're gonna set up the bucket and remove this um, dying birch tree that's kind of hanging over their house and some, some power lines and whatnot. Um, bucket will make that a lot easier because it's kind of a sketchy tree. And then we're gonna be grinding that out and hauling away all the stump grindings because they're gonna try and replant something there a little bit smaller. So it doesn't interact with the power lines. Yeah, so I kind of just did a little look-see. Um, there's four teeth on here. Um, one of them looks good, one of them looks okay, one of them looks bad, and one of them's broken. So we got a nice mix of uh, quality. So right now I'm just replacing this broken one. And by broken, I just mean like really badly dented and it's not cut very well. You take out a bolt and then there's kind of this locking piece behind the cutter head. And um, I'm gonna get a hammer out. And it's really, it's a really fancy way of getting it out. You kind of put this block here and then you take the hammer and then you just kind of hammer it to loosen it up. Get it on the other side. I'm just gonna keep, there we go. They just get jammed up in there. I think the way it's designed, like every time it hits the stump, essentially it gets pushed back into the, into the wheel. So you don't have to worry about things flying off. But you do got to make sure that it's attached properly because they will fly off. First you get out this little wire brush and a little towel. You give it a little rub down, you get all the stuff off of it, all the dirt and grime. It kind of builds up. Because sometimes if you don't get all the dirt off of it, it doesn't fit correctly. Yeah, I don't know if this is going, but you can kind of see this isn't the cutting head, but this is impacting. And that's why it's getting kind of um, bent over. You can see it's like totally impacting the side there. And then this is what I was talking about where it's not necessarily broken, but you have this chip missing and you can see that this is supposed to be like a nice rounded edge here. And, uh, it's impacting this, 
this metal, which is not supposed to hit there. So that's why I'm replacing this one. And then this is what it's supposed to look like. Here's a good comparison, because you can see it's all like finished. It's nice and sharp. Well, it's not technically sharp. It's just got an edge to it. And yeah, no chips or anything. And then we're gonna clean out the pocket. Make sure that'll fit. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing to the bolt just so the threads are nice and clean. You don't want a tooth flying off. I've never seen it happen, but it's happened. Just look it up on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find some crazy video. So this is how it fits together. There's kind of like this little knob and then it just slides right in, bing bong. And then where'd that brick go? We kind of give it a couple little taps just to get it to sit in there where it's supposed to be. And then we get the bolt in. Give that a little tension. All right, now that's getting in there. Get that tight and then put the cheater bar on. So we get it extra tight. All right, yeah, that's on there. All right, brand new tooth, nice and shiny. That one looks okay. That one could probably get replaced. That one looks good. Okay, one more tooth to replace. Okay, take this out. There we go. And even if none of the teeth are dull or, or broken or anything, you do want to just check your teeth before you grind just to make sure everything's locked in tight. Sometimes we have refurbished teeth too that you can use, but right now we don't. We just got new teeth. It's hard to tell. I don't think any of these, I think these are all newer, but the, the cutter head is essentially this little strip of metal here. And then this actually could come off and then you, you put another one on. So this, is, this base is just an attachment point for the, the cutting head. Is that something that the shop does, or do you guys buy them like that? Um, I don't think we do it. James might do it on some of the lightly worn teeth, but I think most of them we send back in to get done professionally. That bolt, that's why you got to clean them out. Otherwise, that will just get, that won't go in very well. It's just gunked up with a bunch of crap. I could say crap, right? Nice. That was a better one. Yeah, use that one. <laughs> All right, and now this is another good example of a duller tooth. You can see, wow, that one's been sewn worn. You can see the difference in width right here. This one's been so worn down. And this isn't a cutting edge again. This is, this is the base. This is the cutting edge. So that's not very good. That just means that when you're grinding side to side, um, you're grinding too deep. I'll bring that up on the safety meeting on Monday or something. People will be grinding too deep. Yeah, that's crazy. That one's really bad. You can see the difference, because that's not the cutting edge, that's oh, wow. like the base, wow. and it just gets ground down from use. Okay, so we got that clean. Clean off the base. But another reason we want to make sure that all these are nice and um, new and relatively sharp is because if you use dull teeth, it just puts extra wear and tear on the machine. Clean out the base a little bit.
we put some plywood on the ground, it's a lot easier to clean it all up. Oh yeah, nice. You can use a rig, but I like using my hands. It's kind of cool too, you get to see like the structure of the stump.